Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Holly. I got pregnant at 17 and I decided to have a home birth. So I plan on making tons of videos about the experience, you know, my boyfriend's experience, uh, breastfeeding videos, teen pregnancy videos. I'm going to start off with a home birth Q&A that someone on Facebook sent me. They sent me a bunch of questions about home birth. So, let's just get started. First question is, did you have a water birth? I kind of had a water birth. Um, my midwife brought the birthing tub to the house and I only got in the birthing tub for like an hour or so. I don't really know. I got in the birthing tub for a while and it was too hot. I, I didn't like it. I didn't want to be in there. So I got out. I laid on the bed for a while and then I was like, I need to go take a shower. I'm going to go get in the shower. <laughs> and the hot water from the shower just felt so good on my back. And... um. I was just going through my contractions and then I felt like I needed a push. So I was pushing for one hour in the shower. I was squatting in the tub and I gave birth in the shower. So I guess you could say it was kind of water birth. Who attended the birth? So um, me and my boyfriend live at his sister's house and she has four kids. So his sister and her four kids were here. My mom, my sister and my brother, and my boyfriend's dad. They all came. Did you have any complications? No. Thankfully, I did not have any complications. Did you have a midwife? Yes, I did have a midwife. She's amazing. Um, the reason I actually had a home birth was because of my boyfriend's sister. She had all four of her kids at home. Um, so I ended up having the same midwife as her, which is awesome because, um, their family's very close with her, and, yeah, so I trusted my midwife a lot. I will leave a link to her website below. Even if you don't live in the Bay Area, you can go check out her website and learn a little bit about home birth or water birth. How long did you wait to call her? <sighs> it was funny because... My contractions were in the middle of the night. They were getting worse in the middle of the night. And I was like, I don't want to call her yet. I feel bad. I don't want to wake her up. But, you know, that's what midwives are for. They're constantly on call. If you if you go into labor at 3 a.m., the midwife will come. I think my midwife came around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m.? I have no idea. I wasn't really paying attention to the time while I was in labor. But... Yeah, I waited till my contractions were like three minutes apart. I I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't paying attention to time. I don't I don't remember. But you you usually know when it's time to call. Did your water break? Um, I don't know. I think it did. Um, most of my labor I spent on my bed, and I was just like squatting on my bed, going through my contractions, and um. During my contractions, there was, like, liquid coming out. And I th I don't know if I peed or if it was my water breaking. I don't know. <laughs> but I just did not care. How long were you in labor? I was in labor for 21 hours, which is really average. Who did you have in the room with you? Well, since I was in the bathroom, I was kind of a small room. But, um, my mom was in the bathroom. The midwife, of course. The midwife's assistant. I forgot. Um, yeah. My midwife brought an assistant with her and my boyfriend. And then my boyfriend's sister couldn't really fit in the bathroom. There wasn't really any room, but she was just like right outside the door taking pictures and um, videos. So, yeah. Did you take any type of medication? Nope. I did not take any medication at all. I wanted to feel it all. I wanted to feel all the pain. Because birth, labor is natural. It's something we're meant to go through. I don't want to alter that with medication. I wanted to experience labor, like, the way it's supposed to be. I don't feel like you should take medication for that. Plus, when you take medication, it goes to the baby as well. And I didn't want my baby to be medicated. I wanted my baby to be aware and 
fully functional. What did you do to ease help ease your contractions? Well, I got in the birthing tub for a while, because uh, the, really the best way to ease your contractions when you're having an all-natural birth is, I'm sorry guys, it feels like there's hair on my face from my makeup brushes, but um, really the best way to ease your pain while you're having a natural birth is hot water, warm water, getting in the tub, because when you get in the tub, you're like kind of, you get, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like easy to float around and there's not much pressure on you. When I got in the shower, that felt amazing because I just had the hot water going on my back and, and that felt amazing. Also, my midwife's assistant is a massage therapist, so she massaged my back and holy crap. She's a miracle worker because she, when she was mas massaging my back, she made my contractions feel way less painful and I could finally get some rest. That was the last question. Um, I, I'm wearing my baby right now. He is one and a half months old and his name is Cash. He's losing all his hair right now. Um... So, feel free to ask any questions I didn't answer, but look forward to much more videos. I, I have so many video ideas to get more in depth, in depth with, like, home birth and whatnot, and teen pregnancy, teen pregnancy and all that. So, yeah. I also plan on doing, like, some makeup tutorials here and there. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye!